So this is the one that Shockey has really been anticipating mostly tonight. This is the one that he has really worked hard towards and what he's been wanting to do. He really wants to take down Jeff once and for all in front of the world. And this is his chance right now. All of you are about to witness this epic, epic showdown. A best of five. Jeff has confirmed he is ready. Sharky with the countdown. Let's do it. Game number one in three, two, one. Tetris. We're underway here, but players have begun. Jeff will start us off with 22,000 on his side. Sharky's still waiting for his first Tetris, and he will have to use a long bar. Thought he was almost Tetris ready, but I was incorrect. There it is now, bearing Tetris. 27,000 for Sharky. Jeff is set up for a left well. We'll take a safety burn with the J. And then followed up with a bang Tetris on the left. 76,000 for Jeff. 53,000 for Sharky. And once again, for those of you just joining us, if you missed, there were promos cut before the matches began. Those promos can be seen immediately after uh, the match is over. You can see them over at my youtube which is kingsman 36 you can follow that channel if you like subscribe to it always some videos up there very soon we'll have some tetris videos from previous twitch matches and friendlies history and of course the kingsman invitational will be posted on there for those who rewatch. but the videos if you missed the promos they will be available there and even himself the man boom tetris for jeff cut one absolutely letting sharky know that how dare he Challenge three legends back to back to back. The goal of the young man right there. Well, Sharky has proven tonight that he can hang with them, and he's trying to do it one more time, and in fact, tried to change it. He has gotten to game four with Quaid with a loss. He has gotten to game five decided with Josh with a loss. Could the trend be that he might make it to game five against Jeff with a win? story unfolds right now 181 for sharky 202 for jeff sharky with a beautiful burn with a square there unbelievable 200 iq as they would say amazing amazing thinking by that young man once again he's not getting the long bar until it was coming way after he had closed the right side He's trying to avoid putting the square there for the Lombard dependency, but end up having to then put more weight on the right. And now he's back to digging out here, much like the man on the left side. His moniker is known as Digging Out. But right now, Jeff is at 232 through 65 lines. We're halfway through this one. So a pretty good score right there for Jeff Barry and Tetris. We'll take it to 257. Sharky is still hanging in there with him at 239, even through all that dig. Sharky get a long bar. Bang! There's a Tetris there. Sharky will take it to 261. Jeff at 280. Another Tetris there for Jeff. We'll take him to 302. Nice little J spin at the bottom there for Sharky. Takes him to 286. And a Tetris there. We'll take him to 309. So he's hanging in with Jeff. As some would say. It may be neck and neck. A touch there for Sharky. We'll go to 333. He's got the lead momentarily, but he's also eight lines ahead of Jeff, who is not pushing down. Usually you would know Jeff to be pushing down. He likes to go fast. But lately, if you've been watching a Jeff stream and most of the competitive matches been in over the last few weeks, he has changed that style. He has now gone into just letting the pieces fall and perhaps giving him more time to think where he would like to place them. And honestly, watching him on friendlies, it has made the difference. He is on a current 10-game winning streak 
on that program. Practically unstoppable with only two losses overall. Uh, I believe he is now at, at like a 17 or 18 and 2 record in the history of friendlies. Unbelievable. And one of those victims that fell in that streak is the man he's playing right now on the left-hand side, Sharky, who is up high. But I got a long bar here. Bang, Tetris sets up another long bar to be Tetris ready one more time. He's at 4.33. Nice T-burn there. And another bang, Tetris. 4.57 for Sharky. 4.33 for Jeff. As we are approaching the transition, the Sharky has transition with a Tetris. Misses the Z-spin at the bottom. He's at 4.81. Jeff. Eight lines to go. Also has some junk to fix up here. I look to hope that RNG can give him the right pieces. We'll use a couple of long bars to the left. And he's got it all opened up with one more line to give before he goes to Transition City. Shark is already on level 20 at 490. Jeff wants to get one more to kind of close it in, but I have to take a J double because no long bars in sight and have to take a triple on the left. I see we on the right. Jeff is set up for a T-spin, but will not do it. He will decide to put the long bar instead. Jeff is kind of just digging out right now, trying to get at the holes here, and he will do that, and he is finally set up. Now has to reclose the right side with the S. So Jeff is looking at building. Sharky is looking to try to score. Sharky has a hole in row two that will deny him any touches. He'll get the long bar down for a triple, and now he's got that hole opened up. 517 for Sharky, 465 for Jeff. Jeff with a nice little J tuck there. He is looking to get through this. Nice double there with a T for Jeff. 474 his score. J burn on the right for Sharky. Taking some nice burns here. Doesn't want to get too crazy. Doesn't want to let this slip out of his hands here. He has the lead at the moment. It's an L over to the left. Opens up the right side. Lombard bearing Tetris 563 for Sharky. 505 for Jeff. Jeff here. Nice adjustment with the, with the square to accommodate the L that was coming right after. We're on level 23 is here. Ch Sharky's on level 24. Bearing the attention there for Sharky. We'll take it to 601. Jeff is at 520. Continues to just dig here. He's on level 24. He's got a center open. He's going to go with a center well. He is Tetris ready down there, but he just needs the long bar. Has to take a burn in the middle and has to eat it away with a triple. He knew to give up right away because the long bar took too long. 534 for Jeff. Sharky gets a lump over to the right. And he is looking to just stay low. He's got the lead. He knows that he's almost 100,000 points above Jeff. But Jeff finally lump off that rank. Tetris on level 25. And he is going at 569. Hey now, hey now, hey now, hey now, hey now. Another lump off that rank. Tetris there. 601 for Jeff. 665 for Sharky. Sharky's on level 27. Jeff on level 26. So Jeff has that chance. A bearing Tetris there, 634 for Jeff. He's creeping in on Sharky. Sharky is Tetris ready. You go along with bearing Tetris at 702. Uh, it's level 28. This is getting close here. Things are heating up. Sharky is Tetris ready. He's another long bar. Is he going to get it in time? We'll take a safety triple here. He's only got six lines left before the kill screen hits. He is waiting patiently, and there is no long bars in sight. Finally, yes, he gets it down there. Bearing Tetris will finish at 749. Trying to get through more points on the kill screen. He's going to be done at 749. Jeff will need to get to 750. Repeat that. 750. And he's on level 28. He's at 686. 750 is the number to catch. It is starting to get tough for Jeff. He's only got four lines left. He needs to find a way. He's only got one line. He has to take a triple, and that is going to be it. He's going to be done at 7.05. No long bars in sight. And Sharky at 7.49 will take game one. GG's. Unbelievable game number one right there. Double kill screens.
And both players have confirmed that they are ready to go. They're not even going to waste any time. Sharky will count it down. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your seatbelts. Game two in three, two, one, Texas. Uh, so unbelievable game one. I gotta catch my breath for that one. It's unbelievable what we saw there. Double kill screens. Sharky was just too strong at the end there. Really, really got it together. Knew we had to ramp it up because Jeff was starting to chase and he had absolute beautiful control throughout and finished strong with a 749. Jeff, unfortunately, was not able to fix the board in time through 27 and 28 to get any decent scoring. Of course, no long bars either. Uh, in his favor, so he fell in game number one. Absolutely an outstanding first game, what you want to see from both of these high caliber players. I love on by bearing touches there for Jeff. We'll take him to 207. Sharky's at 149, making 172. And I, uh, Amaya Yombo reminding us when Chucky gets a chance, he'll have to put a heart for himself. <laughs> he was so excited for that win, he forgot to give himself the heart for game number one. So obviously he will add that. I don't have the functionality here. I am uh, remotely with Sharky here, so he will fix that at the end of this game two. And Sharky was up for a triple down the left side. And now he's got a J coming to help. Sharky at 216. Jeff, 284. We're about to be at a halfway point here with that Tetris. There you go. So Jeff halfway through level 18. Already at 307. He's on a hot pace. Sharky with a center well row two. He's waiting patiently for a long bar, which is not coming. Oh, but it came right as soon as he used a square to close up the well. And he has to use another line bar to reopen it and then had to close it immediately. Oh, that's what this game does to people. Finally gets it after a while. He got the Tetris in. Gets him to 251, but Jeff is at 359. Over 100,000 points the difference. And Jeff will open up the right side. And he is Tetris ready as per usual. Ooh, but a bit of a misdrop with the S here in the middle. Could be a spicy issue. Yeah, he ended up closing up the right side here. Oh, Jeff can't get down that line to the left. He's going to be done at 359. I will repeat that. 359 is the top out score. Sharky needs to get to 360. Repeat that. 360 is the score to beat. Sharky's at 269. Hey now, hey now. 360. Confirmed. Mr. Valor helped me out there. Thank you very much. We know when you can't make that mistake again, that was embarrassing earlier. Repeat that. Yes, 360, Guardian Psycho. We'll say it over and over and over. Make sure that Sharky gets the appropriate number. But now Sharky in a bit of a little issue here. We're at 296 for Sharky. As he is fighting through this, he needs to get to 360. He's not making this easy. He 
He's trying to get that left opened up, and he will. Then we got a line bar there for a triple. Opens up the yes. There you go. Sharky is looking in much better position. And he's about to transition with two lines to go at 317. Again, 360 is the score. He will need to do it in 19 plus. But he's got a nice board that is Tetris ready. It's just patiently waiting yet again. We'll take that safety triple. Not going to play around. He knows how to play 19. You've seen it already a million times. So he's not going to play around. Just keep the board very clean. He's got all day to do this. And if he can get this one, he will go up 2-0 on the legend. 360 is the score for Sharky to get. We're on level 20, and he is doing the very slight chase down. Just keeping things very steady here. These are what you call tournament strats. As much as people like to see the Tetris to finish for the exciting conclusion, at the end of the day, it is not necessary. He's got all the time in the world. And at these speeds, you don't play around. We're at 351, make it 352. He's 8,000 points away from the victory. They got tripled there. And that'll do it. 381 for Sharky. Gets it done. Game number two for the 2019 Rookie of the Year. GG. And there we go. Countdown has begun. So, ladies and gentlemen, a crucial game three for Jeff begins in three, two, one. Tetris. So, Sharky now is in the driver's seat. He is up to nil this time on Jeff. Sharky has gone toe to toe with three CTWC legends this evening. Match one, he took on the center well master in Quaid. Fell to him in four games. Three to one was the score. And of course, our most remarkable dig by... Oh, that looked like a dirty Tetris might have been there for Jeff. Can't confirm that, but it looked, it looked like something dirty happened there. 60,000 for Jeff. 32,000 for... Make it 33,000 now for Sharky. We'll take a very beautiful burn here with a T and a J. we got a T over, and i got a line bar over, and i got a line bar here. Baron Tetris burns there for Sharky. Gets it done. Jeff here looking to dig out. We love a long bar here at this point. Hopefully he's building so high here. We'll get the S for the double. And of course, the line bar shows up a little too late, but here's another one for Jeff, and there you go. So Jeff back down to a more manageable state here. And of course, he got some kind of not nice pieces here. Sharky will get a nice piece for a Tetris. Take it a 112. Jeff is doing what he does best, digging out of this situation. And it looks like he we could have used the Z piece, but patiently waited for the square instead. Now he's Lombard to pet. Yes, there you go. Lombard comes and saves the day for Jeff. As per usual, gets it done here. There's a nice J burn there and a bang Tetris. 148 for Jeff. Sharky with a Tetris. Taking a 183 and has a unique burn that he will do with line bar flat. And there you go. So now both players are safe. So back to what we were talking about. So Sharky fell 3 to 1 with Quaid. Go back and watch the VOD. Absolutely an amazing dig by Quaid in game number three to stay alive in that one that we're tied up one one apiece at that moment and then quaid who transitioned 19 with a nasty board somehow found a way to stay alive and was able to bring the stack back down and made a miraculous comeback to win game three which led into his game four victory right after that sharky then took on the ctwc 2019 quarter finalist josh tolls legendary dig master himself they went to a five-game decider. Epic, epic showdown. 
where it did go down into Transition City, but alas, Sharky was not able to seal the deal there, and Josh took away the victory, giving the CTWC Vets the 2-0 lead overall in the Triple Threat matches tonight. And it's up to Jeff right now to seal the deal for the Vets. But he is down 2-0 here. And as mentioned, this is an important match for Sharky. Sharky finds Jeff to be his ultimate rival. A man that he finds to be absolutely dangerous, yet maybe equal in stature to gameplay between the two. They have gone toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and Sharky has told me their overall record in friendlies or exhibition matches, or whatever you like to call them, is 3-3 three and three amongst each other. So this is the Game 7 decider here for them in their series. And Sharky obviously would like to come away with the victories up to nil here. Score check 374 for Sharky, 361 for Jeff. We are at 100 lines for both players. Sharky's at 102, Jeff at 100 even. So just about a Tetris separation here, maybe a little bit more are the difference in this one. And everybody redeeming highlighted messages here. Rooting for Jeff, rooting for Shark, rooting for the King here on commentary. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Make sure if you're not following the King here on commentary, we do it pretty much every day, especially on Monday and Friday nights. Tomorrow night, another edition of Tetris Family is where you can find Jeff playing there most of the time. Sharky's board has gone into mega help. He needs something here. He's got nine lines left to go before transition. Jeff is looking fine at one more line left. And Jeff has finally transitioned now at 433. His score here going through 19. Sharky has transitioned as well. Sharky's trying to fight through this. Jeff for the clean stack and rebuilding at the moment. Sharky is trying to fight through the garbage about high above next box level here. Oh, pole vaulting T pieces now just to stay alive. And he gets the right side open up. What a great dig. I love my parry. Check this for Sharky on level 20. Oh, my word. Gets him at 42. He's right back in this one. Jeff is at 488 on level 20. Just decided not to put the Z piece over to the to the right, but I'll settle for this one. Bang, Tetris. We're at 582. Sorry, 518. A bang, Tetris for Jeff. 545 now for Jeff. 517 for Sharky with a nice little T tuck. And a long bar coming. Bang, Tetris. 545. We're even up here. Only 400 points to separate it until that Tetris by Jeff will take it to 572. Sharky is set up for another Tetris. He's waiting here patiently one more time. We'll take a Z double here and a nice T burn once again. And I'll take the safety triple because there's no Lombards inside. Decides not to play around. He knows he's up two games to none and he's going to be patient here. Does not need to go aggressive. It's Jeff who needs to be aggressive. Missed drop of the L there by Sharky. Has complicated his board. Got the light bar over in column two. Oh my word. Jeff is at 610. Sharky at 564. What a burn by Sharky with the L. Left it, left it flat there. Oh, most people would never think about that. A lot of bearing catchers. 598 now for Sharky. 618 for Jeff. Make it 620 after a couple of burns there. And a bearing Tetris. Jeff will go to 651. Sharky at 607. Sharky is Tetris ready after putting a couple of squares. Pull both a J over to take the burn. We're on level 25 for both of them. Sharky. Take, oh, what another pull vault again. Beautiful moves here. A Lomba comes in pairing. Tetris Sharky at 647. Jeff is at 694 here. Jeff will transition to level 26 now. So has Sharky. 696 for Jeff. 681 for Sharky. Both hit Tetrises. Make it 730 for Jeff. 713 for Sharky. This one's going to be really close. And it's getting closer to the wire. Jeff is trying to fight to stay alive and get one more game out. Sharky's trying to close the door and end the night in his favor against his greatest rival. 
Jeff is working with the low flop. Gets it. Bearing Texas gets a 769. Hey now, hey now, hey now, hey now, hey now, hey now, hey now. Oh my word. Sharky's got a major dependency down. Column three. Gets a T to reopen. He's begging RNG for a line bar or a J. And it's not coming. And he's going to be done at 723. Boom. Catches a Jeff. Eeks out of this one. He'll survive. And he'll take game three. GG. Chuck has been begun the countdown. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a pivotal game four. In three, two, one, Tetris. The swing game. Up next. And that's why it is a pivotal game four. This is the swing game. This is where the pendulum can swing in the favor of Jeff. Or if he can take this one, he will take it to Decider. They can swing right and go in the favor of Sharky, who would like to close the night with a victory. He has taken on two CTWC legends already in the triple threat match. He's trying to at least earn one victory now against Jeff here. His greatest rival means more to him than anything. We're at 52,000 for Jeff, 92,000, make it 114 for Sharky. Already off to a good start for him. So we got 127 now for Sharky. He's been in a bit of a cleanup here. Gave Jeff some time to catch up. Jeff is at now at 105. Check with a nice little T-Tuck here. And it's up a nice J-Tuck to follow right after that. All these beautiful tucks by Sharky. Keeping this board very well maintained now. Jeff got a nice triple to clear out some junk here in the middle. And he will just be about ready. Yep. Nicely done with the J and a bearing catches. Good adjustments by Jeff to accommodate for these pieces that just came in. And he was rewarded with a long bar Tetris. And I got a second one right here. 163 for Jeff, 201 for Sharky. We are over 50 lines played in this game for. We would expect nothing less than another transition from both players. Sharky's actually playing a little dirty right now. Let's see if he's going to be awarded a nice J burn there. Pole vaults a Z over pole vaults a J. And again, and he touches down the center for Sharky. And Jeff is going back to left well strats here. Get a J over to burn. And a line bar here. Bearing touches. Jeff will go to 217. Make him just with the square to accommodate for the Z. Came in. Take a T burn off. And decides he'll play it safe instead of putting the line bar over to the right. And Jeff, yes, will continue to let's see what he's gonna do because now he has a column three open, but yeah, he's not. He's just he's gonna play it safe. He's gonna bring bring this all the way back down and look to try to maybe work with the right well. But now he's just not getting favorable pieces to accommodate for what he wants to do here. I'll just throw anything wherever he can. Now he's got a bunch of holes here. He's going to need to fix this up. So 228 for Jeff, 267 for Sharky. Sharky has his right side opened up. It's at 269. Hey now, hey now. Jeff, meanwhile, gets the right opened up. We'll take a double with his line bar. He's got way too much mess. But he's now Tetris ready for something. Daddy Tetris there for Jeff. 
258 for Jeff. 296 for Sharky. He's all clean now. Take a safety triple there with the L. There's nowhere else to put it. No, Sharky just got double squared. Make three squares out of four pieces. It's very tough. And he will get the right side. Hopefully open up. Yes, with this L, we'll do it there. Waiting on a uh, long bar here. And there we go. Finally for Sharky. Bang, a Tetris. Jeb, meanwhile, is working with a column two. And he will get the long bar here after some burns. 315 for Jeff. 333. Make it 356 now. Sharky got another Tetris in. They'll take him to 357. A square tuck here for Sharky. 339 for Jeff. And there's one down the middle for Jeff. We'll go to three, 365. Sharky at 368. Jeff will get another center well. Bang, Tetris. He had transition now at 389. Sharky's got four more lines to go. Sharky has a dirty setup here on row three. And he will decide not to take. He had a chance to take it, but he was like, no, let me bring this all the way down. Took a triple and then another triple with a line bar. So here we go. Sharky is all cleaned up. We are at 382 for Sharky. 415 for Jeff. Another Tetris there for Jeff on 19. We'll go to 440 on level 20. Sharky gets a nice L over for the triple. And he is on level 20 at 386. This is where Jeff can absolutely start taking off when he starts having a board like this. And he's absolutely looking crisp and clean. Takes a nice L burn to skim. And it will take the safety burn with another L. He had a lumbar coming right after, but didn't want to play risky. But now he's building up for a Tetris here. So he has to lay the Z for a tuck. And again, he's going to just take this easy. And he's got a bit of a, a build in the middle here. Sharky up, bearing Tetris there. Sharky will go to 492. He's got the lead at the moment. Jeff is Tetris ready. Sharky, not yet. Now he is with that T-burn. And a Lombard comes in, bearing Tetris. Jeff having some trouble here. Oh, now Jeff makes the Z. The hangering Z for Jeff. All led to a hangering long bar. He couldn't get it to the right. And he is done at 482. Which means... Sharky! At 550! Says game four is no more. He's got the game and he's got the match and he settles the score with Jeff Moore. GG's! Hello everyone, thank you all so much for watching. This is the last iteration of the Triple Threat Challenge because, I mean, we've had three matches. First match was up against Quaid, second match up against Josh, and of course, the best for last. Third match was up against Jeff, THE Jeff Moore. And him and I actually have kind of a bit of a rivalry, so expect to see some more matches of me versus Jeff here on the channel soon. Anyways, before I go and conclude like I normally do, out. After this, you will have an exciting series. Literally one of the most fantastic series I'll probably be on this channel. And it's going to involve two highly skilled players. Who are the players I'm talking about? Well, you will see when the time comes. <laughs> Anyways, last thing. Thank you so much for everyone that stopped by the stream yesterday. It was absolutely fantastic. Despite the little technological issues we had here and there, it was the most fun I've had in the stream and really, it's something to you know have built up you know a community of people that you know we can talk about you know share things with and of course bully me because that, <laughs> that's something my viewers like to do is just bully me but i love it anyways if you like the video and you like the triple threat series then leave a like maybe we might be able to get some more i don't know who exactly i would challenge but maybe we might be able to get another triple threat series here in uh, the future 
comment down who were you hoping would win each of the matches were you rooting for the old school were you rooting for me or were you rooting for a combination of both let me know down in the comments below share it with your friends they might actually find competitive classic tetris interesting and who knows they might actually want to get into it themselves and last but not least if you like all the content on this channel, while it might not be me going up against CTWC Legends all the time, there's still plenty of content here on this channel, and if you like it, why not stick around for a bit? Anyways, my name is Michael, better known as the Sharky, and I'll see you all in the next video. Just don't